The largest city in South America, Sao Paulo sits on the Piratininga Plateau and is surrounded by rivers that fan out into the interior. Almost from its founding in 1554, Sao Paulo became the gateway to the Certeo, and explorers known as Bandeirantes made expeditions from the city into this region. Today's main highways to interior cities still follow the routes of the Bandeirantes. Number 10. Sao Paulo Cathedral. This is the largest church in the city of Sao Paulo and can seat 8,000 people. It is a large domed 20th century cathedral of the Neo-Gothic style and was constructed using over 800 tons of marble. Number 9. Musu do Football. The ultimate museum for football fans, the Musu do Football offers both traditional exhibits as well as video and interactive displays. From information on famous players and famous games to basic instruction on how the game is played, the museum has things for people at every level of fandom. And even those considering becoming fans, Number 8. Mercado Municipal de Sao Paulo. This market building sits along the Tamanduatiai River and is a beautiful domed art deco building with 72 stained glass windows created by the same Russian glass artist who created the Sao Paulo Cathedral. Number 7. Liberdade District. Liberdade is considered to be Sao Paulo's Japanese district, although nowadays more Chinese and Koreans inhabit this area, with many of the ethnic Japanese having moved to more upscale areas. The entrance is found by a large, red arch that is used in ancient Japanese architecture to mark the entrance to Shinto temples. A weekly fair takes place in the main square here where traditional Asian and Asian-inspired crafts can be sold on the street. Number 6. Musu de Arte de Sao Paulo Home of the finest European art collection in South America and possibly the Southern Hemisphere, the MASP is a must-see for any art lover traveling to Sao Paulo. The artistic experience begins before entrance, as the unique architectural design created by a sea shadow beyond is a work in itself. Number 5. Teatro Municipal de Sao Paulo. This ornate, gilded architectural wonder was created to showcase the importance of Sao Paulo on the international arts scene. Designed after the Palais Garnier in Paris, the Teatro Municipal made its world debut in 1922 as an important arts showcase, when it hosted the Year of Modern Art. Number 4. Musu de Lingua Portuguesa. 
The goal of this museum is to create an interactive experience with the Portuguese language that is fun and educational for both those new to the language as well as lifelong native speakers. Much of the presentation focuses on the history of the language, proto-languages, and the various backgrounds and cultures who speak the Portuguese language. Number 3. Avenida Paulista. The 2.8 kilometers long Paulista Avenue was originally a residential street filled with large, ornate mansions belonging to coffee barons. Many of these were torn down in the 1950s and replaced with large, multi-story buildings. It remains a center of luxury and business and is much like Park Avenue meets Wall Street in New York City. Number 2. Pinacoteca do Estado. Considered to be one of the most important art museums in Brazil, the Pinacoteca is home to the oldest art museum in Sao Paulo. The museum is one of the world's best examples of Brazilian art and houses many of the most important 19th century Brazilian pieces, as well as some modern displays as well. Number 1. Ibirapura Park. Sampa's answer to Central Park, Ibirapura Park serves as a major recreational site and is one of the main tourist attractions in Sao Paulo. It has paths for walking and jogging, bikeways, woods, lakes, sport courts and areas for relaxation that attract city residents of all ages.